after one week of living in this van, it was time to do a deep, deep clean. It was our first time actually doing many of the tasks that a lot of people wouldn't even imagine you have to do in a van. If you're new here and you have no idea what's going on, we rented out a van, travel the entire west side of the country, and we were gonna be in this van for a total of two weeks. But here is us resetting our entire life, our typical Sunday resets in a van. I had to wear leggings underneath my PJ pants last night because we went through 20 degree nights. It was probably the coldest thing I've ever been through. you guys hear in the background that's our heater this morning i woke up and i literally told jake i was like please turn the heater on it was like 6 a.m and we were the coldest i think i've ever been in my life it's right under the seat right there and it runs off of the diesel tank so you're supposed to have like more than a quarter tank in order to run it we woke up and the van had to have been like 30 degrees it was horrible i feel like it makes it extra hard to wake up in the morning when it's so cold like the only way that me and jake have been surviving through these nights has been because we use each other like body heat anyway let's do the morning room Routine. happy sunday sundays away from home feels so different right now i would be cleaning my house getting everything prepped oh no either we're out of water or the pipe froze well oh shit I'm just gonna use like whatever I have left in this little water bottle to wash off my face because I have retinol on it and I can't go outside with it on. These are my cute little containers. They brought all of my travel. Frozen. Girl. I'm gonna dry cleanse. I'm not gonna put any water until I have to rinse it off. Can you not? I'm still foaming up and there's clearly still cleanser on my face, but we don't have any more water. So I just have to wipe it off. Next, these are my two little pods. So this one has moisturizer and this one has sunscreen. There's no mirror in this van. So I just have to use the viewfinder to see how I look. I've learned to become very innovative with this whole experience. <gasps> uh, my bad. <laughs> my inner r 2 d Skincare is complete. <laughs> I forgot that I did bring a makeup mirror. Let's just do quick little makeup. Oh my gosh, even the skin tint is cold. Makeup is all done. Now, let me get dressed. We low-key, like, let me show you. We have been reusing our clothes already because we don't have any clean clothes. Like, this is the dirty clothes pile. It's kind of embarrassing, but in this little space between these two seats, we've just been like dumping everything in there. And then this is trash, that's trash. Most of the bags are just like laundry. This is all dirty laundry. We are down bad. Like we have no clothes. In our little closet over here, like the only thing that's left is this and this. Like that, that's it. All right, I'm down to this pink shirt. This is supposed to be my workout shirt. <laughs> these are all crop tops and it's 20 degrees outside. Please send help. I need coffee. We need to make coffee. I'm a grandma now. I don't make any cold coffee because it's so cold outside that I can't actually hold the cup because my hand will actually fall off. Yes! Jake found some under the van. I thought we had an extra two water bottles. No, you didn't. This did. is drinking water. No, you didn't. These measuring cups were all provided by the van owner. So making our life very easy here. In order to set the stove, propane. Whenever we have the stove running, you want ventilation because of the propane? My coffee is making! This is actually my first time actually using a French press. Now that I know that's how that works, I'm for sure going to become my new thing. Whenever it's cold enough because drinking hot coffee is still for old people. 
I still stand by that statement. Let's make some breakfast before we actually head out because I want to eat. Before actually going back into town to do laundry and all that stuff. We bought pancake mix yesterday. I've been craving pancakes for so long. So we're going to make eggs, pancakes, avocado with some veggies. Of course, you guys know I love veggies so much. Would you like some pancakes or would you like some waffles? Uh, waffles. This is a workout. Perfect mixture. So pancake mix is done. I'm gonna let that set for a while. Veggies. Are bananas, tell me why they're still green up here but black everywhere else. Like how does that even make sense? <laughs> I'm gonna use our bananas to top our pancakes. This is what we have left of butter, half a stick. Damn, we're fat. That's how you know. Half a stick of butter? Are you joking? This bitch was huge. This man has so much smoke. Bro, these onions be dramatic. Okay, see, talking about dramatic. Oh wait, it's actually pretty bad. Are you good? Bruh. <laughs> We're down to two avocados. We've been eating literally one avocado every single day. It was like a pack of like six or eight avocados. Honestly, I feel like we've been eating more homemade this entire trip than we eat like actually at home. Now let's get started on our pancakes. super rural area so there's like literally not a gas station there's not anything for a good like 20 miles we're finding a new campsite we're going down to the city because we need to go to the gym laundry mat all that kind of stuff as soon as jake's done we can actually head out the man has still not put on his clothes ah hey Just got here to a laundromat. Is it a laundromat or laundry mat? I don't know how to pronounce half the fucking words in the dictionary. Let's organize all of this laundry by category. Step one, get it all out. Jeans, PJs, hoodie, cereal box. We got 25 minutes till that clothes is done. You just left it. Everybody else is like waiting for the clothes there. But like, I don't think somebody's just gonna snatch my wet clothes. And if they do, well then we're pretty screwed because that's all the clothes we have. Let's make my mid-morning drink. I'm thinking matcha. I could potentially also do coffee because I have cold brew. What do I want, matcha or cold brew? <gasps> I need hot water to make matcha. Change of plans. Can't make matcha. Do you know how sad this is? Well, not that sad because I have a little bit of milk left, which means I can eat some cereal. Let's finish it off so we can like get new cereal today at the grocery store. We're down to two bananas, so we gotta make them be useful instead of throwing them out. <laughs> Mm. We left everything drying. Now we're gonna go to a coffee shop because I have the pool. <laughs> and so, you want a coffee. And I want a coffee. Hi, can you do a cherry blossom please with oat milk?
of the biggest struggles that we were going through in this van was actually Wi-Fi. We had a Wi-Fi box in the actual van, but it wasn't the best. So we had to stop at multiple cafes along the way. So I had to upload all this footage that you guys are watching right now, real time at a cafe, did some work just so we wouldn't get way too behind. <laughs> Now it's time to actually fold all the laundry now that it's done. It took us literally like a whole hour and a half to do all of our laundry because we had to kind of like wait for machines and stuff because it's just Sunday. Like I should have known better. I call the closet now. You had it the first trip. What do you mean you call it? You have two other dressers over there. No, I don't. Yes, those you do. Okay, towels. I'll take those then. There's more space over there. I'll take those then because there's You're a reason. You're so annoying. Look at him. He just wants to argue with me. Dude, you know what's crazy is that at the house, like clothes literally piles up so bad. Like you guys know you see it in my vlogs. And it's because like having every Everything's so convenient at your house, like having your own washing and dryer. It's almost like when you have things very convenient. Ah, ah. Bless you. Ruined my speech, but thank you. It was getting boring. <laughs> I'm missing a sock, bro. How? You can have one of mine. I don't want your ugly ass sock. You literally took over my other cabinet I had here. This isn't even supposed to be a cabinet. This is a food cabinet, which I'm gonna I'm gonna evict you from here right <laughs> now, actually. No. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. No. We are getting ready for takeoff once again. We're taking off to the grocery store. I want to get that out of the way before we go do our dumping and like all the nasty stuff. Our fridge is damn near empty. We have like two eggs left and that's it. Like we don't have much. Grocery list. What do we need? We need milk, turkey. What else do we need? Hello? Steak. No. What are you asking me for then? <laughs> shrimp. What the hell are we gonna do with shrimp? Dinner. I need cleaners. What else? What if we've been like, oh, we wish we would have got this. What was that? Steak. No, it was shrimp. Nice. No. Let me think. Rice. What are we gonna eat the rice with? A steak. I just need like an all-purpose spray that I can use to clean the entire van like everything like I mean floors See, I'm gonna go with this one Let's do a whole foods haul of everything that we got a whole onion whole milk granola slash cereal I thought instead of getting an entire box of cereal and an entire bag of granola I could just do a little two-in-one scenario here it saves us some space pasta American cheese pasta sauce Of course you need pasta sauce when you get pasta Greek yogurt and some instant oatmeal some snacks These are little protein bars sandwich bags because we have a lot of like leftovers and then we don't know where to put it We also got a toy because I don't know if we're gonna be coming across any dogs So we got to stock up on dog toys in case we do because you know we they gotta play with us so We gotta bribe them somehow three entire cans of tuna because this is the easiest thing to make we got corn and some tomato sauce pistachio creamer this cute little baggie here i just got three apples we have to be able to kind of fit this in the entire van here so let's get to organizing if you would like to hear about our membership offer please press one <laughs> Hi, do you guys offer day passes? Yeah, you can do a day pass. Perfect, how much are those? Uh, you know what, I think they're free, I think, for the first time or so. Perfect, thank you so much. Sounds like a deal to me. I really hope that they have showers, but I'm pretty sure every gym has showers. It would really suck if they didn't have showers. Um, from experience, they do. Naked old men. In the sh really? Before we do that though, let's go restock our entire water tank and dump out our gray water so that we can be nice. And red. Look, we're here. Right here, this is the pump that we look for. This has water. This hose came in our van in the back. We just like store it and you basically just hook up. And then on this side, you plug this into here. All right, let's start. Now we just have to wait. I think this is free. They've never made us pay. I don't know. I've never actually asked to pay, so. Good. All right, closing it up. This goes back in the trunk. It goes right in here. Now let's go over to the gym because they do close at 7 p.m. and I just wanna have my fair share of time actually taking a nice shower because I can't wash it in here because it would literally take the entire tank 
and more. <sighs> Let's load up all of my little gym stuff that I'm gonna take. Okay, this is all my cosmetic stuff. These zip logs are already starting to come in handy. What the? Bruh. Oops, literally I can only do two products at once. Are you joking? Body wash, cleanser, we got lotion, sunscreen, and some moisturizer. Blow dry spray, toothbrush, and a scrunchie. My entire Dyson Airwrap, I literally brought this. I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to use this in the van. Well, newsflash, you can't. You'll literally blow a fuse. Oh, man. What are you laughing at? You. Why? I'm prepared. I'm not funny. I'm prepared. I don't know if I want to actually go in there and pretend like I'm gonna work out or if I just go straight for the showers. But my best bet is probably just going straight for the showers because we don't have much time till they close. Let's go take a shower. time the lockers is too far right so i was like okay i'm just gonna get undressed while i'm inside of the shower so i went fully clothed took off my clothes in the shower and then i put it like on the side in like the little area that they had and then the freaking water was spraying like this and it went on my clothes my entire legging is soaked so putting it back on was so hard and i'm literally soaked right now now let's drive over to the campsite the sun is like kind of setting as you guys can see and i want to get there during the day or when there's light because then when you show up late to a campsite then you don't know what it looks like and then you wake up in the morning all bamboozled and i just don't want to i just really don't want to do that and then we can actually clean the van once we're already parked in our campsite Going up to Park City, this view is so crazy. We're just going through a bunch of really cool, like, canyon-looking vibes. Oh my gosh, Utah has so many mountains, it's actually crazy. We are officially in Park City, and this place is so beautiful. This is literally our view. It's just super pretty mountains, and, like, all of the houses, like, bro, look how bougie they are. Now it's time to actually do the work. Remember those dishes from the morning? Yeah, well, we didn't get away from those. <laughs> Washing dishes is so hard because this little ass seat is like smaller than the damn pan. The water spills everywhere. My dishes are done. Now let's actually get started on the wiping the counters part because my cabinets are so dusty, crusty. Like we've been cooking on them for an entire week, but like obviously haven't cleaned any of it and it shows. I feel like once we get all of this cleaned up and looking so much more fresh, it's gonna be easier to wake up in the morning because I feel like these past few days, it was really, really hard to wake up. And I think it's because I would wake up and just see a big old mess and it's just like, you're already living super, super crammed, but being crammed and messy is just not, it's not something you wanna wake up to. The actual sink is actually disgusting because we brush our teeth and then we spit into it and it's just like, I wash my face. All right, I'm done with the kitchen area. Now I'm gonna work on the bed. All of my items that we took to the gym, I have to put all these back into my cosmetic bag. It's starting to get so dark outside, you guys. I need to freaking finish up. Do you guys hear the birds outside? It's almost all the way dark and it's so pretty. What birds are those? Oh, those are definitely a South African cocktail. Definitely. I think I'm a zookeeper. <laughs> now it's time to clean the floors. This is the part that has been so difficult because if you didn't watch that, we actually went to the salt flats and at the salt flats, it's literally all salt and like sand. It's like a very sandy texture. So when we walked back inside of the van, everything got everywhere. Then we started going from barn to barn to barn and then it became dirt and mud and now we're here. This part right here is honestly what gets the dirtiest just because we're like getting in and out. We gotta sweep here too.
Okay, I'm starting to actually get frozen and I had to pull up the weather because I'm like, there's no way I'm just being a little chicken. 26 degrees. I'm from California. I'm used to 60 in the winter. With the doors open, no shirt. I might as well just be a nice block. We have a really long day ahead of us tomorrow, so we're gonna close up camp. Let's put on some PJs. I was about to put these on, but then I forgot that the blinds are open and everybody can see my butt. Now that it's covered, let's get dressed. Ha ha, I'm PJs. Tonight is gonna be obviously a super cold night, so I'm gonna turn on the heater. I'm gonna have it be 74 in here. 80 minutes, I think that's fine. That'll be enough for us to go to sleep. All right, we're going to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching the Van Life Vlogs. Nat is signing out. Good night.